My name is Jean Paul Oise, uh, and I play Stateco in the Monument, uh, produced by Isoko Fiesta. My name is Gumbia Solange Lisa. I'm an actress and singer, and uh, in the Monument, I act as, in, as Anna, the daughter of Mejra, and I'm also the musical director of the play. It was a story that touches Rwandans personally on both sides, perpetrators and victims. And that's why uh, at a certain point I said, okay, it's a very good message, a very important message that Rwandans need to hear and need to see. So why in that somehow I was lucky to be chosen to tell that story. So I decided to, I, I was like, okay, let me do it because it's, at the end that we feel, I will be proud that uh, it's me who told this story and not someone, someone else. Personally, it took me long to understand the play. Even now, I wouldn't say I really understand the play, but at least there are things I understand more than I did when we started. Because when we read it for the first time, what was um, like obvious to me is, you know, the play was talking about, you know, a war that we have, you know, every Rwandis know about. And even if I knew it was written about Bosnia, I thought it was really something that is close to, to realities or to Rwandan reality. The more we work on it, the more I see or I come to understand that uh, what happened to Rwandese can have also happened to other some other countries and it's really you know horrible to know that because sometimes we used to think oh this thing that happened to Rwandese it's unhuman of course it's unhuman but to know that also other unhuman you know and humanity happened to other people it's really I don't know how to, I, I would never find a word to express how it makes me feel but to be part of this play and to be telling this story so that it doesn't happen again and to talk about this process of forgiving, forgiveness, I think it's really something we, we are all proud of being part of because at least we, we have hope that even if that happened, even if it happened, but we want other generation to not face it, that it doesn't happen again. It's very heavy, it's very intense, and especially when you're doing it in Rwanda, you know what you're doing on stage, it's someone's reality. It's not just like a joke or a play when, you know, you are like in another world, like, you know, it's just, it's reality. And you know, you look in people's eyes, you know, it's, it's not, it's not a play. So it's really intense. And sometimes it, it takes a lot to pull ourselves together, you know, and yeah. among the cuts, sometimes it's really hard. And I really thank God that we have, you know, so far we haven't flipped or we... I remember back in the country, one day we were performing and um, I could see a lady, once I uh, stepped on stage, she started crying. She started crying till the end of the play, 70 minutes, she was crying. And after the play, I was like, this lady is, 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 I don't know, she's gonna kill me, she's gonna hate me, she will not want to talk to me anymore. And then she came, she hugged me, then she was like, thank you very much. Thank you for doing this. I don't know how you do it, I don't even care how you do it, but you do it great, you do it great, and this is what we want. Thank you very much. So you can see that, even though it's heavy to carry, even though it's, it's hard to do it, but there are still people outside there who really want to listen to this, who wants to see this. So that's what gives us strength to do it each and every day, to wake up and go to rehearsals every day, even though it's hard. Oh,